preparing to go. This is what I did. We're going to refer to her as Alta Lady right now. If Rob's watching this, every night we're in bed at 8 o'clock. All the lady said, outside your comfort zone, we're going. You follow me, we're, you're going with me. And I'm like, all right. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we are giving a set of denture box dentures away. I'm not a makeup guru, you guys. I've started something else too with the support of Dr. B. Dentures are only work, allowed to, to be licensed in only a handful of states in the United States. They're allowed to work all over the world. We're going to see the denturists and I want to be able to help them be licensed in different states. The state legislation has to vote and I mean I just want to help them because we all need dentists. So what I did was I made an email. I want a denturist at gmail.com. What I'm wanting is people to write me their denture stories. How, how, if you had a bad experience, if your dentures don't fit, if your dentist didn't take care of you, anything. I just want you to write it. And in the subject line, put your state, the state that you're in, and then, then write it to me. And just know that I'm going to print every letter I got off and give it to these denturists. And if I'm already, if this video goes up and I'm already there, I'm going to save them and, and I'm going to continue this for the next year. And maybe I'll go to this conference again next year. And I'm practicing. Alta lady. Now we have Alta man. Alta man comes over. Rob said, you need to do something for yourself. I didn't tell Rob how much money I spent. <coughs> So here we are. We're going to talk about new dentures and makeup. That, that's what we're talking about. And we're going to smile. For those of you that don't know, there is a denture sym symposium. Ooh, that's a big word. In um, Las Vegas that we were invited to. And we are very excited to go. Ashley is going to Ashmac Dear Dentures. I think that's the name of her channel. She's going to. And we're, we're planning on going live from the denture the dentures floor because it's a conference and everything so you'll be seeing me and Ashley going live maybe quite a bit in the next week or so so anyway preparing to go this is what I did I'm getting new dentures Jen from denture box is meeting me down in Vegas with a brand new set of dentures that has a whole different design so so we'll get to see that we started the process during summer and then it kind of got put on hold and um i had green kids all the time and everything so it was hard i have videos on getting my new dentures and having them impressions and also that's on there so and getting ready i also bought us rob and i rob is going too we have a blue a white and a black polo shirt that we're having our name real life with Michelle and Rob in a YouTube logo put here stitched on that's being done right now and I also went and got us matching pants would you like to see our matching pants hold on I'll show you we've been kind of having fun getting ready for this trip I mean seriously okay these are dark blue jeans we both got a pair these are gonna go with the white polo shirts I thought about wearing black pants but I don't want to do that because I don't want to look like a waitress or a waiter. That's, you know, the black and white. That's usually what they wear. Let me move this over a little bit. Okay. So then the navy blue shirts are going to be going with these pants. These are Rob's and these are mine. I know a lot of you had some really good information or good suggestions when I told you we were going and we had to get matching. I'm calling them uniforms. This is going with the black pink shirts. These, this is like a, a green. Can you see? These are mine and these are Rob's. So this is going to be our uniform for the time that we're there. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. So then, because our outfits are so boring, they're not colorful. They're not, you know, I think they're boring. I went and bought shoes, matching shoes. And we're going to have bling on our feet. <laughs> Bling's going to be on our feet. These are Rob's. He has these and then um, a cream pair and then another pair. So those are Rob's. And he's going to wear those with the green pants. Okay, here's my, these are blue ones. I got blue shoes to go with my jeans and my white shirt. And then I got these. I just thought they were cool. 
and these are going to go with something, something, I don't know what, but I have been, have, I have been having fun with my mother and just taking Rob shopping. We haven't really gone shopping in a long time. In fact, we, the last time, I, I don't even know when, and you guys know me, I don't, I don't dress up. This is it. This is my life. And, and I wear sweatpants, I wear pajama pants, and I wear big t-shirts without a bra. That's what I do. I went and got new bras too so I can tolerate them. I have a rod in my spine and the rod is right where your bra hits in the back. It's about yay long and it's very hard for me to wear a bra. But I have to wear a bra. So anyway, that's going to be happening. So anyway, anyway. So what else did I do? Rob, about a month ago, Rob said to me, Michelle, you never do anything for yourself. Why don't you just do something for yourself? And I'm like, I got a hair happening in here. I'm like, oh, well, okay. I know about a month ago, or maybe it was two months ago he said that. So I've been thinking for like a month or two, what, what do I want to do for myself? So then we were invited to, to the Vegas trip to the Nentra Symposium by Gumguard. Gumguard is, is um, we're going with them. They have a booth there next to Dr. B. So we're going with them. So they covered the cost of our tickets to get in, which were not cheap. And then um, Easy Denture said, wait, if you're going, we want to go too, because we want to meet you. So Easy Denture is coming. So they, sent me money to pay for our room so that covered that and then Jen from Denture Box said wait a minute if you're going to be down there I'm going because Jen's family lives in, in Vegas so they covered Denture Box covered our our flights they paid for that so so thank you to all of all of them and I'm so excited to meet everybody just everybody so anyway what did I do what what was the exciting thing that I did for myself there's my address I don't know okay I went into Ulta because it's like, I want to get some new makeup. That's what I want to do. I want to get some new makeup. So I'm going to be like showing you guys what I bought. So if, if you're bored with that, I'm sorry. I'm just excited and ready to go. And uh, the new dentures and everything. So I went into Ulta and I'm looking all over the place. And I'm like, I, I don't know what to buy. I, I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the stuff. So Alta Lady comes over to me. We're going to refer to her as Alta Lady right now. And she's like, ma'am, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I just want to, I, I just, I had something in my hand and I'm like, is this any good? And I told her what we're doing and everything. She goes, oh, I got you. So Alta Lady sat me in the chair. <laughs> she sat me in the chair and she's like, let me get some stuff to help you. And she's like, if you notice my lips, notice the lips. I don't ever have anything on my lips because you don't like lipstick. It just bugs me. She's like, if you are going to Vegas to show off your teeth, you need something on your lips. So I'm like, you say so, <laughs> we'll try it. So she tried some stuff on me. So here's what I ended up getting. All right. This is a MAC lip pencil. MAC lip pencil. And... We're going to, I've been practicing with, I've been practicing with the lipstick because I told Rob, I said, listen, I'll have to practice with this because I don't wear lip stuff. I just don't. And this, this color is Whirl. It's called Whirl. That's the lip liner that's on me. And I'm practicing. Alta Lady said, you need to pack a little compact with you and take your, with you when you go. And I'm like, that's just freaking work. That's work to me. I don't want to have to do that and worry about my lips. That's the least of my worries. So anyway, this is the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color in the shade. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Over the Taupe. 997. That's what this is. And it's a lip... Where, where do I look? It's lip liquid. So that's... What's on my lips right now. So then I got home from Alta Lady because Alta Lady showed me some other stuff too. And I'm like, I can't buy all this stuff. I came home and I bought it anyway. I ordered it. So anyway, I have these two um, lip pencils that are just out of my comfort zone. These colors, which kind of blend with this. 
And these colors are over the toe and love clove. And these are different. These are like a stick. Stick. Okay. So I've been practicing. I've been practicing wearing lip stuff. I, I just, I don't it's not my thing. It just is not my thing. And I asked her, I said, isn't there something like a stain that you could, I could put on my lips and leave it on there for a couple minutes and then wipe it off and it just stays on there like a stain. And they just said, you need to do this because it looks nice. Out of my comfort zone, but we're doing that. Sometimes it's good to go out of your comfort zone. We'll see how everything goes the day of. So anyway, then I went home and let's let's just go through what I got. All right. I got it it foundation because I do like to wear foundation. And this color is medium tan and it's, this is what I have on my face now. Medium medium tan. And then Alta had a deal that it's like there was stuff in here. So all you do is add this to this here thing and then they had their setting spray and I don't even know whatever this is setting spray in this thing that I can't even get it back in the box I hope you're still here because you know I've got a freaking whole box full of stuff Rob said you need to do something for yourself I didn't tell Rob how much money I spent setting spray and then Super, uh, I think this is our mascara. I haven't tried any of that yet. But I did, oh, I did try the setting spray and I liked it. I did like that. So, if Rob's watching this, thank you for telling me I needed to do something for myself. Because I did. Alright, this is the It. I, I really liked this. And what I, it's hard to get open. This is the, the It bronzer blush and highlight and I got this because for one it's all in one thing and it's it's thin and it does have this big old mirror on there which Alta Lady said you need to carry a mirror so I think I might just take this as my mirror but I, I never use highlight look at my nose is kind of sparkling there I don't know if you could see it but I, I did put some like through here and oh, you might be able to see it and I'm like oh I kind of like that. So Alta Lady showed me this in the store and I did not purchase this in the store. But when I came home, <laughs> I made on my Alta order. I, I put that on my Alta order. Yep, sure did that. Oh, and this is the um, long lasting makeup, the setting spray, all nighter from, I don't even know who makes this, but Urban Decay all nighter. So, I am going to Vegas, right? So, but here's the thing. I don't do all-nighters. I, I just don't. I'm Rob and I, honestly, and I kid you not, every night we're in bed at 8 o'clock. So, we're traveling from the East Coast to the West Coast, and there's a time difference there and everything. And, you know, once I flew to Italy, and the jet lag was so bad, I actually slept 24 hours when I got there. I really did sleep 24 hours. Okay, this is mascara. I really like this mascara perversion. I don't know why we have to have names like this. What's, I mean, why? Why, 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 just why? All right, let's talk about my eyebrows. Because some of you guys have said, what do you do to your eyebrows? And it's like, I've over plucked them in the, in the 80s. That's what I did. That, that's what I did. So here's what I bought. Okay, so now we have Ultiman. Ultiman comes over. And um, he, he's really good at eyebrows, Alta Lady says. So Alta Man now looks at my eyebrows and he's standing there going. <sighs> I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? Shave him off? What's the problem? He goes, nope, I got you. Okay. So I have this precision, precision, precision brow pencil. And. I, I kind of do like this, but the other product I like a lot more. Okay, this is stuck in there now, but even the tip, why? Why do we have to do this? You know, I, I don't know, but the tip of this is, is real fine and real thin. See that? It's really fine and thin. So I kind of put this on 
And then the other end is this, the brushy thing. I, I do the brushy thing. And then what I do next, I really, really like it. This is called 24 hour brow setter. Didn't even know there was a product like this. So, you know, I think this is the travel size because she said, well, you're traveling. Well, okay. So this is a wand. Okay, like a mascara wand, but you brush it back and forth on your brows and it just makes them a little thicker. And I, I, I like this. So I know this is something I'm gonna repurchase. I think so. Oh, hold on, I need a drink because, oh no, we're gonna see what happens with the lips when I take a drink. My coffee cup is like filthy, so just ignore that. Mm. So now what? Alta Lady, it's it's coming off, Alta Lady. You know, can't now see now I'm gonna wonder what it looks like. I, I'm not a lip person. I am absolutely not. Oh, and then I bought this. This is a um uh it's called Flash Cat L'Oreal Paris eyeliner because this is a liquid eyeliner like a pencil. And I've always done this. I don't know if you could see it, but from here to here, just just to my pupil, kind of, I put eyeliner. That's where I like it. So, anyway, all right. Oh, here. I use this also because this is Estee Lauder, the smoothing primer. I, I've always used this, and I really, really like this. This is, you put down this first, and it really is smoothing, and I really do notice wrinkles. And I also always have used this, Miracle Worker by Philosophy. I really, really like that. Um, I did buy a beauty blender, but I think I like my brush better. I bought a NARS sharpener because I thought I'm going to need that. And then I have this thing. What is this thing? I don't even know. Hold, please. We're going to find out together. Oh, these are eyeshadows. Now, this is, again, where did I put my glasses? I'm not a makeup guru, you guys. I'm just not. Here they are. I can't, I want to read this to you because I used this and I'm like, oh my gosh. This is the best eyeshadow I've ever had. It's from Lancome, Okay. And the shades, that this shade is H-G-W-N-I-E. What the heck? That's not a name. Anyway, they only have a few of these. But this is a pencil. And what I did, I, I did that. See, there's this color. It's really pretty. And I really didn't think I would like these. And the and all the lady said, outside your comfort zone, we're going. You follow me, we're <laughs> you're going with me. And I'm like, all right. So she went and got me a couple colors of these. I'm gonna show you all these colors. And I thought those are those are beautiful. And it was so easy to use because usually I use that's a little darker than the other one. Usually what I do is I have powder eyeshadow and then it's like I play with it and then it gets all over me and I am not a makeup guru at all. This makes my life so much easier because I can use just one shade if I want to. This is this is mostly the one I have on right now. And look at these. That's this one. And when I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I don't like that one. That's kind of gray. And the more that it sat on my hand the more I thought, that kind of has a green cast to it. I think I really like that. So, I ended up I ended up buying all of these because, again, Rob said, you need to do something for yourself. So, I just bought them all. And I left this on my hand, and it the next morning, I mean, I did dishes and took a bath and everything, but I didn't scrub at this. It was on there the next morning just a little lighter and it didn't move it didn't let me see it didn't move 
when it dries down, it won't do that. I'm like, oh, I need that in my life. I do need that in my life. Oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> you know, Rob did say. This is Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Anti-Aging. We're going to hope it works. Is it going to anti-age me? I do also have a setting powder called It's It. I use that also. That's in my bedroom. And I have a blue eyeliner. I always kind of put blue eyeliner down through here. Most of the time. And I just have always done that. It's probably an 80s thing. This is a NARS concealer. Old the lady said, you're going to love this. And I'm like, I've never used concealer in my life. And she's like, no, but you're really going to like this. So Old the lady went and got me this. And she put it on me, and I'm like, because it's lighter than the foundation. And what I noticed was, it gave my face some depth, because usually it's like all one color foundation, but I put some under here, all of the lady did, and then kind of here and here, and then a little bit up there, and it's like, hmm, that, it just gave my face depth. And the best way I can describe this is the denture. The denture box teeth, because I I have studied a lot of teeth now. The denture box teeth are Vita teeth; they're not printed teeth, and they have they have definition to them. When you when you see a printed tooth, it's just plain white. Boom, plain white. And other teeth are just plain white. But the Vita teeth that they have 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 different colors kind of in them and definition. So when you smile, I do have a crooked smile. They, it sparkles. Your teeth kind of sparkle and they hit the light differently. And there really is a difference. There really is a difference. So then I bought a brush set because all my brushes are old. They're just really old. And I don't have a really good brush set. So I bought these. So anyway, I'm not even going to ask you guys to guess how much I spent because I don't want Rob knowing. So if you want to put in the comments so Rob can read it how much you think I spent, Go ahead, I drop on the floor. Hold on. But <laughs> remember I have this I have to live with a man, so so be kind. But we're just so excited to go see the dentist. Now listen, I've started something else too with the support of Dr. B. Dr. B's behind us. And he he started this and started taught me about this. But Dentures are only work, allowed to, to be licensed in only a handful of states in the United States. They're allowed to work all over the world. We're going to see the dentists, and I want to be able to help them be licensed in different states. The state legislation has to vote, and I mean, I just want to help them because we all need dentists. So what I did was I made an email. I want a dentist at gmail.com. And I want, what I'm wanting is people to write me their denture stories. How, how, if you had a bad experience, if your dentures don't fit, if your dentist didn't take care of you, anything. I just want you to write it. And in the subject line, put your state, the state that you're in, and then, then write it to me. And just know that I'm going to print every letter I got off and give it to these dentures. And if I'm already, if this video goes up and I'm already there, I'm going to save them and, and I'm gonna continue this for the next year and maybe I'll go to this conference again next year. Maybe I'll email somebody the, the letters, I, I don't know. But I knew at the time, I mean, Dr. B brought this up to me and it, it was like in my heart and like I knew at the time it was the right thing to do. I didn't know why. But I wanted to start this months ago, and I did. So what has happened since then, I got invited to the dentist conference, and it's like, okay, okay. So I know I'm going to meet somebody that I can give these emails to. I, I know that I'm going to, which is going to help future denture wearers. So if you want to be a part of helping me support the future denture wearers of America, because dentures, they're allowed to practice all over the world, but not in the United States. Only a handful of, only a handful of states has them. So anyway, but help me. I want a dentures at gmail.com and that will help me so much. And I just, 
it just makes me happy. Let's see, look at this eyeshadow. See, it's still there. See, now it won't rub off because it, it's dried. There is no smearing there. Oh, that's good stuff. I'm quite impressed. All right, I'm going to go practice with my other lipstick. I'm going to go look in the mirror and see how this looks because I'm just not comfortable with this. Just, I'm just not. I've bought lipsticks before and it's like, it's not my thing. All right. I'll see everybody in the next video. Um, like, can you like, like this video? If you like this video, can you hit the little like, the little thumbs up thing down there? And subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's a subscribe button down there if you like the video or my content or anything that I do. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we are giving a set of denture box dentures away. So that's happening. So yeah. All right. I've been talking now for 25 minutes. Sorry to keep you. I'll see you next time. Bye.